Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in the Your Shepherd series is Don't Hold Up the Party and our anchor scripture is taking from the book of Luke chapter 15 verses 1 to 7. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who do not need to repent. Today's episode should be very brief. To everyone listening, whether you believe it or not, you belong to God. You were created by the Almighty and the life you are living right now is only as a result of the breath he puts in you. The Bible makes us understand that he can withdraw that breath and life as a person knows it will end instantly. We are God's sheep. He owns us, every single one of us. The scripture tells us that as a shepherd, God takes us very, very seriously. So much so that when a single sheep strays from his fold, he goes all out to locate the sheep and bring that sheep back into the fold. The Bible says that when a sheep comes back into God's fold, heaven throws a great party. Today, I have a message for three categories of people. The first set of people are people who are sure they are in God's sheepfold, born again, saved children of God. My message to you is this. If you have accepted the love of the Father, please do not ever feel comfortable until more people are saved. Be the hands of the Father. And by the help of the Holy Spirit, guide God's sheep back into the fold. Second category of people is believers who have backslidden, who think they have gone too far and that God won't forgive them a second time. Please read today's anchor scripture again in your quiet time. God is yearning for you. Rededicate your life to the Father. He never stopped loving you anyway and will be glad for you to speak to him in prayer. After so long, the last set of people are people who have never surrendered to the Lordship of Jesus. The Bible says there is no other route to saving your soul other than through Jesus. You see, when you, your, your, your breath leaves this body, the real you, which is your spirit, will still be very alive. Whether or not you accept Jesus determines what will happen to your spirit. You will either spend eternity in heaven if you accept Jesus or in a place called hell. If you don't, the Bible describes hell as a place of torment and urges us to avoid it. There's only so much I can say in three minutes, but I pray that today you will consider coming into the fold of the Lord. For all three categories, heaven is in dire need of a party. Don't be the one holding up the party. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Today, Lord, I pray for as many who are beginning to think about accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior. Please, Lord, reveal yourself to them. We come against every covering cast over the eyes of anyone listening, and we speak into their hearts a hunger for salvation. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed or if if you want to surrender your life to Jesus, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's Word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.